Ola Sota Tiani Chigedo Jangunchi, you were Tonga with Chimbu soon less. Tevetendi, she no let her Tandanya Batari Samshi Niganjigla, Nagel Lord Anja, Sudi Saman, Jidin Chawaku, Mumba Chawashin to Togene, Ninze Gundu, Ningu Lemboku, Nanjo Ned and Yamlet, Tatar and Zet, Tandu Chetan Tishin, Yang Selo, she Chigeso and Shingi Tenepige. Naranjo to get some more than a pig, never cashing, never twins away. Any chick pig, tell what yet and George choose some betting pig, me, Luden, some with the digit top. What that in a pig and jag our cashure. Sanji, you temper rumbuchi, Jay Lundog, temper rumbuchi, Timome, but on Jay. Only Tabar Gaw, a lamb, and over to bet in a pig, take what chimbu, give a shiny, and it's singing the tongue. Anna check. Any chick tamju, Rua, any chick pig, Drew, Tunye. Mazam never tan. Annie, a gay and tata than che. What a tinny pigage, one at a church chair, cook up some boo. Didn't take the top de Vecalia, Annie Chick Pigay, to me, Susus Monson or Cheney, and one at a nature carsorata, a Nimbula or Chego, but she like catching with him. What a tin pigage, Nimbuti, Annie Chick Pigay, Malandu tan casurata, Nimbulango, but Nimbu Malan and Tinny Pigay, Yaya, tender Ludens and Wood Tobia, you know. Tane and Nimbu Malane, Maum Bana Tinipige, Kajur Tatla, Nimbu Tane Malane, Digi or Tere, Tendeta in the member. Tender Tenepige, Maranzu Luden Sanguti, Anni JPG, Bedan, Judan, Wodan, but the Manguji Tone and JPG never go so in but it. What is under Tani, Tane, Tenepige, Lenji, Nebe, Cup Dilla, Anni Chip, Cook up the Tamzin, the Masson, the Chen and Maranzu, Cook up Sanguti, Masho Chen, and if you get Chen and the Swiss into Trivia. Bezun Shago at the Shirai Kashim Boyim. Dima Dodge get any figure, Ranzo, any figure, uh, Kashure, uh, Kawatsero Toma Meva, Nimumba, Se Telia, Kumji, Hajang, Chimbu, Ruba, any chick figure, some Unimo, Chiju Digua, any chick figure, Mangseva Tita, G, Tuzu Tita, Digue, Leganlia, Dosian Tans and Rodig, you were in Duzane, any Kawatsero Chiman Namsu, any Luden, Sambu. Top to a set it up. How was in bread? Cesanti in Dutane, Sechimalia, Tenepige, Casureta, Nyoida, Tundusum Tavuci, Leva Yenani, and a church egg, Tundian, the Tede or a church egg, Keva, Alinia, Susu, Chick, Tundutabulina, Segu, Alisaia to me, Horta, Susu, so, Zipo Horali, Cavia, Samo Matojiki, and Nimu Pash and Semoni Mavalia, so, Susu, so showing some in Zipia won't get in this. What a town I sing it, teaching in Yawat and Ida double in the Tevetian to two of your mother. Cesanti into the Nata, honey, cook up your tele, Tamzi Majeva in a self shaman and Suta, Luden some would talk to a cowboy over in Dutane, Nimbu Lango in, but Nimbu de Tadani to Lango in, but what is a tea in Dutane? Anni Tane, that chick with your money Luden Tobots on the Marseve, Tennepige, J. Tunje Mason, never Sandeva in Dutane. Lama Tsongkhapa said uh, in one of his uh, stages of the path to enlightenment, the song of spiritual experience of the 13th verse says, um, this life of leisure is even more precious than a wish-granting jewel. That I have found such an existence is only this once. So hard to find, yet like a flash of lightning, it is easy to vanish. Contemplating this situation is vital to realize that all mundane pursuits are like the empty grain husks floating in the wind, and that we must extract the essence of human existence. So what... Um, what Lama Tsung Kappa is saying is that we've got, uh, in this precious human life, we've got leisures and opportunity. We've got the eight leisures and ten opportunities. So we've got the opportunity to to do a lot with this uh, human body. The, and our human body is like, uh, it is perfect. Not only that we have managed to get uh, a body that has got the eight freedoms and ten endowments, 
uh, we have also got the external and the internal opportunities to take the most out of this body, out of this life. Uh, we have also encountered a spiritual teacher or spiritual teachers uh, from the Mahayana tradition. So we don't only have this uh, body uh, of a precious human life, but we have also got the external opportunity, having met the precious teacher that can teach us. So this opportunity which we have encountered in this life is uh, is so very precious and it's very important to acknowledge this opportunity and to to make uh, to do the best to to take the essence out of this life because if we think that we will be able to do it in the future to meet uh, the dharma again we will find out that it is won't be so easy to get this precious human life again. So it is important to recognize the difficulties um, of finding this body that has got the leisures and endowments. We can understand this precious opportunity by uh, understanding the causes and conditions that have all come together to find this body and also to find ex acknowledge the preciousness by understanding the how um, comfortable it is for us to have this uh, body, the causes, uh, the example, and uh, the result of having this body. So we can look at this precious opportunity from all kinds of different angles. So we understand how precious it is and how difficult it is to gain this opportunity. And what we want to do with this contemplation um, is to not to waste this life that we have, but rather to get uh, the best out of it. Because since beginningless time until now, in all the states of existence that we have been through, we can see um, that we have been controlled by the afflicted emotions which have caused us to create negative actions. So uh, actually we have created um, an endless amount of negative actions under the influence of the afflictive emotions. In this life, we have managed to get this uh, precious human body, which has got its freedoms and endowments. It is so very difficult to gain such a body. And if we think, um, how can we use this life in order to get rid of the control of the afflictive emotions on us? So we c uh, could we do this in a different state of existence? Um, under uh, under the control of karma and afflictions, um, if if we are born in the lower realms of like um, of hell, hungry ghosts and animals, we will not have the opportunity to practice the Dharma, and the suffering which we will be under will be um, endless. We can see, for example, the state of existence of the animals. They cannot practice the Dharma. And we can see how, how miserable their, their existence is. Like animals kill each other in a similar way. Um, there are states of existence in the lower realms which we cannot see, like the hungry ghosts or the pretas. Uh, we cannot directly perceive them, but they have such, ex such suffering in these states we cannot practice the Dharma. It's it also the the day-to-day -day, um, existence. Uh, we, we, in these states, we will have to confront so many dangers to our lives. So therefore, what we want is to acknowledge the preciousness of this life that we have with its freedoms and fortunes so that we can take the essence out of this precious opportunity that we have of having a human existence.
Ci sono dei 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 え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、
你们都不知道你们都不知道你们都不知道你们都不知道你们都不知道你们都不知道你们都不知道你们都不知道你们都不知道你们都不知道你们都不知道你们都不知道你们都不知道你们都不知道你们都不知道你们都不知道你们都不
and the one who is born in these states always enjoys the abundance of、uh, pleasure, so they don't have the freedom to think about the suffering because they don't need the dharma. That's what they feel. So. <laughs> So we we are free from these um, other um, existences of、uh, the three lower realms and of the gods. So these are the four states which are of not being a human being, and we also have the four freedoms.、Um, Which which are linked to b-、um, being born as a human being, which does not practice the dharma. So we're being、um, we're free of belonging to a primitive border.、Uh, we're free of、um, holding wrong views.、Um, the The different、um, the different ways of explaining belonging to a、uh, primitive、uh, border kind of people. So an area which seems a、uh, primitive.、Um, They they usually do not have belief in the way of karma that the good actions bring to happiness and negative actions bring to suffering. So this is what a primitive border tribe relates to. And also we、um, we don't hold a、uh, wrong views. So we are born. In a, we're born in a place where we have the opportunity to practice the Dharma. So we dwell in a realm where Buddha's、uh, Buddha Dharma has appeared, and、um, we're also free of a situation which、um, we're free of a situation of、uh, being born. Where、um, where the Buddha Dharma has appeared, we have the opportunity to practice it. And the last freedom which we have is possessing faculties which are complete. So since we can hear, we have a mental ability to understand and to hear the Dharma.、Um, then we have all these freedoms to practice the Dharma. Kadim, the lalo sirutane, chui kene mesa dile yaroma, dile sigi sabe. ラルケはスタッチュケンパスメセサネンデリアアンチケヨナタチュチェアケバテテデブロワダナシンギリンゴスナマレチュウデカサドタジェンスナアニレジュンデメバロワケワマジメバドタディレンゴネチュナマチン
like a culture which is not barbarian and we also are free from having wrong views that means that we we believe in uh, karma we believe in uh, positive and negative actions uh, that have um, implications on happiness and suffering and we believe in previous and future lives we, we have been born in a central place, which means we are born where the Buddha Dharma uh, has appeared and is taught. Tasha Nima it's not that all of us, uh, everyone who is around us, has these freedoms and opportunities because it's a situation which is very difficult to achieve. If we look at our neighbors who, who live in a similar place to us, how, how many of them have these freedoms? How many of them have these uh, fortunes that we're still going to talk about? It's not that anyone who is born as a human being has definitely got all these freedoms and fortunes since it is a very limited amount of people who have this, um, this, this complete set of freedoms and fortunes. It's not only that we have these freedoms and fortunes, we also meet uh, precious uh, Dharma teachers, and not everyone has got this opportunity. It doesn't matter what our ethnical background is, or which location we live, which country we live, or who we are our friends. This, this state of having the freedoms and fortunes uh, has, no, has no connection to gender or place. We have this uh, situation. Rinpoche was t saying, telling a story about a teacher who's taught a lot about freedoms and fortunes. And one of his students asked you, what are you looking at? What are you talking about? Have you ever been to China? If you were, would have gone to China, you would have seen how many people live there. And if you would have seen how many people live there, you would have known that it is very difficult. It is not easy at all to attain such a life that has freedoms and fortune. And of course, the Lama ha answered that not every existence as a human being has got these freedoms and fortunes. They're very limited amount. Uh, of people who have these freedoms and fortunes, who have the freedom, the leisure to meet such a spiritual teacher, uh, people who have belief in previous and future lives, who believe in karma, and who have the wish to practice the Dharma. Do 
我们的人民币链这个叫的，那他必须有那些有钱的，有那些有钱的，有那些有钱的，有那些有钱的，有那些有钱的，有那些有钱的，有那些有钱的，有那些有钱的，有那些有钱的，有那些有钱的，有那些
and of course we also would have needed to to develop a positive states of mind which aspire aspire to uh, have good aspirations and also we would have had to practice the six perfections in particular uh, generosity so these are the causes that contribute to having a life of the with endowed with the eight freedoms and ten fortunes Tat <laughs> wishful feeling with this. Jewels, so uh, we have these uh, freedoms and fortunes and it is very difficult to obtain them but also we should acknowledge um, that we can really take the meaning to take the the essence of these freedoms that and fortunes which we have so there are different levels of taking the best the essence uh, of this life and at the best uh, situation we can attain uh, the state of doji chang of uh, complete and highest enlightenment um, if we have the, if we take the middling um, state of taking the essence of this life, then we can take these leisures and fortunes to attain liberation, and we attain this liberation on Nirvana by discarding all of our afflictive emotions. <coughs> and if we use these freedoms and fortunes in the lowest of all, then we can attain a higher, a higher rebirth in the in the higher realms so these are the three different levels of taking the essence of the freedoms and fortunes within this present life it is it is said that this life that we have is like a wish fulfilling jewel it is better than anything else uh, than we can have so this uh, this wish fulfilling jewel has got has got uh, the ability, at least uh, according to mythology, uh, which is just to give us anything that we want, but only in this uh, present life, anything that that. Uh, we want this uh, wish fulfilling jewel can give us but but um, the advantage of uh, having a precious human life is much more than an ordinary wish fulfilling jewel because it can be of benefit for us to our future life um, for liberation or for attaining uh, the state of Doji Chang or Vajradhara 
So this is how much greater the value we have of this precious human life. So by acknowledging that, we can uh, really and truly take the essence of this life. But also we remind ourselves that since beginningless lifetimes until now, we have been controlled by the afflictions of uh, negative emotions and of karma. And through that, we have been t uh, taking rebirth again and again in cyclic existence. So if we do not take the essence uh, of this life, there is a great chance that again we will be reborn in the three lower realms. Um so, of course, we have these eight freedoms, but also we have the ten fortunes or endowments. So, the ten fortunes are divided into five which concern with oneself and the five which concern others. So Rinpoche recited the the ones which um, concern self and others. So the first one is um, being having a human birth. Um, and the second one is being in a place where the book Buddha doctrine prevails. And the third one is having a pure sense uh, faculties. And the fourth one is not having contradictory karma uh, or having a good livelihood. And the fifth one is having faith. The, the five fortunes which uh, concern, concern with uh, others is the fact that the Buddha appeared, the fact that, there are, that he taught the Dharma, that uh, the third one is that the teachings remain, um, the fourth one is that there are followers to the Dharma, and uh, the last one is that they are teachers with kindness. The fact of saying that there are people who support uh, the Dharma practitioners with love and kindness. This is how Rinpoche explained the last one. Uh the the five uh, fortunes which have uh, which concern with oneself is that we have been born as human being in a central place with having a complete sense faculties 
um, and that we have karma which is uh, non-contradictory. What does it mean, non-contradictory karma? It means that we haven't done the five heinous crimes. So these uh, five heinous crimes are considered to be uh, very difficult, and that's to kill a father, mother, to kill an arhat, and to uh, like um, get the blood out of a Buddha, and to cause um, um, let's say, to separate between the sangha. Dispute to cause the dispute between the sangha. So the the ones um, which have uh, these are the five that concern with oneself, and the second set which concern with others. I uh, relate to the place, the particular place in which we have born, where the Buddha has uh, uh, appeared and he taught the Dharma, etc. ซึ่งจะมีเกี่ยวกับมีเกี่ยวกับสิทธิ์ได้อยู่ครับเนาะอ่าจุดนี้เป็นการสร้างเกี่ยวกับชื่อเป็นมงคลเราไม่รู้เ
so it's difficult uh, to obtain and it's easily lost and it's very meaningful. So we need to contemplate how difficult it is to gain this life so that we really take the essence of it with all its opportunity. So we're requesting the teacher to bless me to take its essence day and night, not only during the day. Uh, we think of taking the essence of this life, but we also do it at night, during the night, so that we have the intention to work hard and to make the most out of our present existence. Anichi Ani so, in short, we, we want to acknowledge this good basis that we have in this life with its leisures and opportunities and to make sure we don't waste this opportunity, that we don't live this life in a wasteful way, so that we don't waste the opportunity. Because if we practice, if we engage in this life only with things that are related to this life, with with uh, the food, the social interaction, uh, clothing, that our attention only goes to to food, to clothing only, and into social connections then it will be so uh, such a shame not to take the most out of this precious life. If we only focus on food, clothing and social interactions which are related only to this life, we <coughs> this will be the greatest self-deception. Garanzudunye, <laughs> Tantambetinipi how do we take the essence of this life with its leisure and opportunities to take the most out of this life? We want to ta train our mind in the gradual stages of enlightenment of the three scopes of being. 
we want to we want to tame our mind so that it won't be under the afflictive state of mind which are very coarse we want to want to take the most out of this life so that we can so that we can recognize how our mind is under the uh, attachment aversion and ignorance and how we want to recognize how much suffering we have because of these afflictive states of mind we we want to nurture a mind um, a positive state of mind and and we want to tame our minds so that gradually, stage after stage, we can attain more and more happiness. We want to take the most out of this life so that we don't only focus on this present life with its food, clothing, and um, social interactions. We want to reduce um, our um, focus on this a very present life and to reduce the control of the afflictive emotions on our states of mind and to develop the positive states of mind. We want to do this in this life from now onwards because after death it will be too late. せてでにでは、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、
So these are the three contemplations which uh, relate to the mindfulness of death. So the contemplation of death is one of the most important things in the Buddha Dharma because it is said that uh, uh, what encourages most to practice the Dharma is the contemplation of death. So anything which is uh, compounded is uh, temporary. So it is true, but it is important that we realize the impermanence and death of ourselves. So now, at the moment, when we do not think of impermanence and death, we have a very strong holding uh, to like uh, permanence. We have the impression that we still have lo a long time to live, as though there is something permanent uh, which will always keep us here. We want to remind ourselves of death and impermanence because this is the, the main thing which will cause us to take the essence of this life. If we, th we should think that we will definitely die, but the time of death is unknown. So when we contemplate that death is our own death is certain, we can think of a very famous people who li lived in this world, and it doesn't matter how strong they were, if they were kings, if they were very rich people, or emperors. So all these people uh, eventually have uh, died. There isn't anyone who is uh, beyond death. So even people are like, that lived 500 years ago. There is nobody who still abides today. Everybody died. Just like their death is certain, also our own death is certain. So this is the first thing that we need to remind ourselves, the fact that death is certain. The second uh, contemplation is that the time of death is uncertain. We do not know whether we're going to die today, tomorrow, later on. There is no exact knowledge of knowing when it's going to happen. We can't know it's not going to happen in the morning or in the evening. It won't happen at lunchtime, etc. We do not have the ability to know that we will die in this place and not in another place, that we will die in this country and not in another country. We do not have the certainty if we will die from old age or from young age, because there's some people who die young, and there are old people who die really old. So there is no certainty as to the time of death. There is no difference between man or woman, a young or old, or any kind of ethnical uh, kind of people, this or that or the religion, everybody eventually has to die and the time of death is unknown. So this is the second contemplation of the uncertainty of death, the time of death. And ที่ในตัวเนี่ยพอเป็นเดโมสดูซะเนี่ยอาจจะหนีไปเลยก็ได้ก็ได้สมมุติว่าอะไรนะชื่อที่ทําซันเจียก็ชื่อทั้งหม
So the Buddha taught that when we look at these aggregates, for example our body, we can see that it is true suffering. It's not only true suffering, but we can acknowledge the fact that uh, t impermanence and death of this aggregate of the body. It's not only the first thing that the Buddha taught. He taught, he pointed to the body and said, this is true suffering. And also at the end of the life of the Buddha, when he passed into Paranirvana, he showed us um, impermanence. So also the first and the last teachings of the Buddha were about death and impermanence. <coughs> So we're going to have a break now of 15 minutes. We'll return at